life support at 15%. Who are you? You don't remember, do you? No. Ah, oh, hell. That makes six of us. What's going on? We all woke up just like you. No memories, no idea who we are, how we got here. Hey, guys. Check this out. like we're dead in space. Systems were down and we were venting atmosphere. I was able to get us back online and restore the ship's auto repair protocol. How'd you manage that? I don't know exactly. I was standing there at the console and it just came to me. Well, that's a good thing. It'll all come back to us eventually, right? Hey, if anyone's feeling underdressed, now we've named ourselves by the order we woke up in. I'm one, she's two. Three, four, five, which makes you six.
We've got comms. So what do you think? We the crew of a transport vessel on some sort of long-range haul? Would explain what we were doing in stasis. Ship gets into trouble, takes some damage, systems shut down. When life support hits critical, hazard protocols kick in and we're automatically awakened. I wouldn't explain the memory loss, though. Mm. <laughs> What are we shipping? Seeds? Meds? Better. <laughs> Who wants? I don't think so. Hey! We're gonna need to check this place out. Let's pair off. Three, you're with six, one with four, and I'll be with five. We use these comms to keep in touch, yeah? Expecting trouble. Hoping. Are you gonna fix it? I'm gonna try. What I'm saying is, we don't know how long we're gonna be stuck here. It makes sense to choose a leader, you know? Someone to make key decisions for the group. Uh, let me guess. Someone like you? No, not me necessarily, but yeah, someone will represent everyone's best interests. Someone who's got final say in this disagreement? I don't know. Could be me. Is that what you're suggesting? No. Not just between us. If that was the case. I use a good second in command. Uh-huh. came to her when she was standing at that console, but I did the exact same thing, trying to figure out what buttons to push, and nothing came to me. How do you figure that? Hell, how do you figure any of this? No way of knowing how long we were in those pods. Could have been days, months, years, maybe. The weird thing is, it's not like our minds have been wiped clean. If they hadn't been, I wouldn't know what a pod was, or a year, or even be able to express myself. Language itself would be totally alien to us, right? You're about to blow my theory here. This way. Uh, why don't you lead? Training room? A torture chamber, maybe. things.
sweet cakes? Hey, Tiny, get over here. I found something. Why is that flashing red? That's strange. The ship's computer just initiated some sort of security protocol. Hey there. Protocol's been activated. We'll override it! I'm trying. Guys, we found food. Who wants? Kid. Ugh, are you sure? It's close enough. What's up with the robot? Technically, she's an android. Her biosynthetic physiology is incredibly similar to that of our ship's outer hull. It's fascinating. She's an extremely efficient entity. Corrector nanites have almost fully restored her broken parts. Well, that's not a problem. We just stick her in the airlock and space her. That won't be necessary. I've already deleted all of her security directives and reestablished her base program. She's no longer a threat to us. And she could prove useful. Well, we're not waking that thing up. The diagnostic suggests she possesses some sort of neural link with the ship's mainframe. Once she's back online, she'll be able to run a more effective repair command. She'll have a space worthy in no time. She may also have some answers for us if anybody's curious. Okay. Start her up. Oh. What's your name? I possess no personal designation. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Why did you attack us? I have no memory of such an attack. The reboot must have wiped her data stores. Well, ain't that convenient. <laughs> I want you to initiate a neural link with the ship's computer. Can you do that? Of course. Now I want you to access any and all data related to the passengers on board this ship. No such data exists. Any information in the ship's records about its crew or its mission? 
No such data exists. How's that possible? It's, it's not. This ship's programming is highly sophisticated. There are redundancies in place to guard against data loss. Someone must have deliberately deleted that information. It wasn't necessarily one of us. Yeah? And who the hell was it? It's a big ship, lots of places to hide. Maybe there's someone else on board. Well, they'd have to know we'd find them eventually, so I'm not sure what would be the point. We don't even know for a fact if everyone's really lost their memory. Any one of us could be lying about that. I don't think so. I was the first one to wake up. I saw that moment in everyone's eyes. I don't think anyone was faking. Exactly how long were you awake before the rest of us came to? A couple of minutes at most. Why? No way of proving that, of course, is there? There's no way for us to know what you were really up to. What exactly are you suggesting? If one of us is responsible, I would say that you are the number one suspect. That's ridiculous. Yeah. You could jump in here anytime, you know. Chatty guy. Sleeping quarters. My neural link allows me instant access to the system from anywhere on the ship. Manual guidance is not only unnecessary, but it's also inefficient. We'll worry about that later. For now, I need you to run a full diagnostic and restore all systems. All right. No. Show me. All right. What is that? It's a subspace transmission. The ship is broadcasting a distress signal. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Looking for something that's true to headache. can be caused by blood vessel abnormalities or brain tumors. How do you know that? I don't know. I, I just do. A tumor is a mass of cells that multiplies uncontrollably. The human body creates 25 million new cells every second, and its kidneys process 180 liters of blood every day. Blood will spread up to two meters when the carotid artery is severed. It's a very efficient kill stroke. Uh-huh. It appears the ship has taken meteorite damage. 
So that's why we were venting atmosphere. One of the forward relays was also hit, causing a power surge that damaged multiple systems. It will take some time to repair them all. Do we have engines and navigation? Yes. What about weapons? Ship's weapons are down. Then let's make that our next priority. All right. No. Show me. What is that? It appears another vessel has entered our scanning range. And their course? They're headed straight for us. But I don't believe they intend to render assistance. Why not? Because they just launched missiles. Time to impact. 60 seconds. Time to impact. 50 seconds. What can we do? The ship is also equipped with various countermeasures I can initiate. Would you like me to show you? Just do it. acceleration time to impact is now 40 seconds we cannot run it i'm already pushing our engines past maximum what about a jump to ftl we don't have time to execute the necessary nav calculations options i could attempt further evasive maneuvers but at these speeds they may overtax our artificial gravity and inertial dampers do it Calculations complete. Jumping to FTL. Hey. Oh, what, what happened? We lost gravity for a few seconds there. When it came back on, we all took a tumble. You hit your head on the way down. I did? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I, I think so. So any idea who attacked us or why? None. Maybe the robot had something to do with it. I have no intention of harming anyone on this ship. Oh, yeah, except for the part where you nearly killed us all. I have no memory of such an attack. So you keep saying... All right, calm down. Are you kidding me now? I wake up a couple hours ago, I have no idea who I am, how the hell I got here, nearly get killed by the forgetful robot, almost blasted to scrag by some mysterious ship, and now we are floating in the middle of who knows where. Actually, we do know where. We're on course for a nearby inhabited world. We are? Before we were attacked, I initiated a recovery program in order to salvage recently deleted and overwritten data. You can do that? The process is time consuming, and most of the information is irretrievable. However, I have managed to salvage some data. What kind of data? This ship's original destination. We should be arriving in less than 12 hours. are not bad. They still taste like shit, but just not as much. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. 
Still don't remember hitting your head? Nope. I just remember falling and then blackness. And... And the door. What door? In a dark place. Underneath. A big metal door. I keep it locked. Always. Secrets. Fine. Be that way. Everybody pick a room and get some rest. We'll be dropping out in 10 hours. You gotta be kidding me. What brings you by? What do you think? We're about to enter orbit. You're heading down to the planet to look for answers. I suggest you wear pants. We tried communicating with whoever's down there, but received no response. Could be a tech issue. Could be a lot of things. Fly safe. Damn. <laughs> this ship have a name? It's a Phantom Class Marauder. Marauder? Nice. There's 
There's no reason to assume the inhabitants will be hostile. No reason to assume they won't be. Remember, we're just looking for answers. We're not here to cause trouble. That's far enough! I'm gonna tell that robot I told you so. Who are you? Why are you here? Yeah, I was afraid those questions might come up. They're not corporate guard, they could be Hrothgar's people. Did Hrothgar send you? Maybe. We didn't come here to hurt anyone. Or get hurt. Especially that last part. So why don't we just lower our weapons? All of us. You say your ship was attacked. Well, we're not exactly sure. Raiders came at us out of nowhere. Disabled our engines, looted our ship, left us for dead. You're lucky to be alive. Wouldn't be if we hadn't managed to restore life support. Nav system's down, we were flying blind, we got lucky. Picked up your settlement on our long-range scanners. Wow. Well, you're welcome to resupply and help yourself to whatever you need, but then you best be off. Why is that? I'm expecting trouble. This is an independent colony. We pull enough terrium out of the ground to get by, but we've never been of interest to any of the big multicorps. That is until now. You had a big strike? It's a couple of Ferris Corporation geologists surveying the nearby asteroid belt. Apparently, they hit the mother load. But without a Hab-1 planet in the vicinity, it would be too expensive to extract. They need a place to house the miners, grow food, source fresh water. Some place like here. It's a big planet. It's not big enough, so far as they're concerned. The multicorps don't share planetary resources. It minimizes the risk of outsiders interfering with their operations. As long as we work this claim, we have legal title. But if we were to leave, or something should happen to us, well, you get the idea. So that's why you want to be long gone before the Raza get here. The Raza? They work as enforcers for the multicorps. They clean up loose ends, trouble spots. Like us. They're aliens. They're half man, half reptile, and I've heard that they're over seven feet tall and they have skin that burns to the... The fact is, no one really knows what they are, because no one's ever survived an encounter with them. If these Raz really are as dangerous as you say, why don't you just leave? You don't get to a place like this unless you've already run out of options. Well, and this claim is all we have. We're gonna fight for it. Aren't you a little young to be doing any fighting? I'm old enough to want to protect my friends and family. No offense, but it doesn't seem to me like you've got the manpower or the firepower. We gathered together the last of our funds, sent out one of our people to score a shipment of arms. The real thing, like the weapons you carry, enough for every man and woman in this settlement. A shipment? When is it supposed to get here? Any day now. If it arrives in time, we'll give the Razum more than they can handle. Make Ferris Corp reconsider. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Gentlemen? Uh, that pendant. Oh. Does it hold any special significance? Rothgar gave it to me before he left. He said it symbolized freedom in the face of oppression and that when his people arrived, we'd be able to recognize them because they too would have this mark. Thanks. This isn't right. Am I the only person who heard what they said? A shipment of arms? Obviously, we were meant to help these people. 
You don't know that. And the fact that we've got a cargo hold full of weapons, that's a coincidence. You're forgetting one important detail. The scary lizard people that are on their way to this planet to destroy everything? I'm guessing you don't want to be there when they show up. Okay, I admit that part sounded bad. All right, let's table this discussion until we're back on the ship, all right? The android said that console was fried. You really think you know what you're doing? Well, it's like you with the controls or four with the swords. For me, it's wires, circuits, fuses. I don't know why, but it just it kind of makes sense to me. Not like all the other stuff. What other stuff? I see things in my head. Like, while I was sleeping, I, I saw a dream. Oh, yeah? I was walking on the beach with my little brother. He was crying because he'd gotten lost, but I found him, and I was, I was bringing him back to the palace. The palace? That sounds like a nice place to live. It was. Until they murdered my father and then came for me. But I was too much for them. And even though I could have killed them, I didn't. I just carved out their eyes and left them for my stepmother to find. The bitch. I hope they're bringing back some real food. I'm starving. You, uh, you carved out their eyes? Well, it was me in the dream, but it wasn't really me because it wasn't my dream. Whose dream was it? I don't know. But it was somebody's. I'm telling you, we're supposed to be helping these people. The matching pendants, it can't be a coincidence. All I'm saying is even if we're supposed to be helping these people, which I doubt, doesn't mean we're gonna do it. We don't even know what happened to us or how we're gonna get our memories back. And those weapons would fetch a very good price on the open market. The money would go a long way. Except they're already paid for. They belong to the miners. Doesn't matter if they belong to the miners. They're in our cargo hold. They belong to us now. now those people will die if we don't help them. They're already dead. Doesn't say much. When he does, it makes sense. Look, if their enemy is even half as powerful as they believe, then they're doomed. The least we can do is give them a fighting chance. I'm pretty sure the least we can do is nothing. Which, for the record, is what I'm suggesting we do. All right, let's put it to a vote. Fine. I vote that we keep the weapons, we sell them, take what we make to stay alive and find out what the hell happened to us. Agreed. I think we do what we know we came here to do. Complete the delivery. He's right. I said we help those people. Thank you. Yeah, me too. I want to help those people. Wait a minute, she can't vote. Why not? Because you're a kid. She's a member of this crew. Who's a kid? What are you, like 15 years old? Do we really have to have a vote to decide if she gets to vote? I vote against her voting. <laughs> Throw up with me. <sighs> Fine. Three to two. What do you say, boss lady? Set half the crates aside. The rest go down to the surface. Clean up your tray, pretty boy. Make sure to lift at the back. Helps take pressure off the knees. You know, take pressure off my knees? Ooh. You helping out. Yeah, see, I think that'd be kind of hypocritical <sighs> given the way I voted and all. Yeah, I wouldn't worry. I don't think it'd be possible for us to think any less of you. Well, you never know. That might surprise you. All right, I think that's it. We're good to go.
Who's that? I don't know. The file is corrupt. This has been a difficult and tedious process. However, I have managed to recover a sizable data cache. Let's see it. I need everyone on the bridge, now. What's the matter? Just get up here. What's going on? The android managed to recover a significant amount of data related to this ship and its crew. Well, that's good, isn't it? Marcus Boone. Murder, assault, kidnapping, piracy. Griffin Jones. Murder, assault, smuggling. Jace Corso. Murder, assault, kidnapping, trafficking, theft. Rio Tetsuda. Murder, assault, piracy. Portia Lynn, murder, assault, arson, theft, piracy. Turns out the Raza aren't a race of aliens. The Raza is the name of this ship. We're not here to help these people. We're here to kill them. <laughs> 